Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Friday sisters, it is officially the end of August which means summer is coming to a screeching halt and it is now back to school season. There is no doubt that this is definitely one of the worst times of the entire year. I know some people are really fated to go back don't know why, but for the average student, depression, anxiety, and stress are at all time high. Thank God that I cannot relate anymore, but I did go to school for several long years. This is only gonna be my second year of not dealing with back to school season. It literally feels like this is yesterday, so this video is gonna be a little bit triggering for me. <laughs> there are so many stresses involved with everything from too much homework, too much studying, really hard tests, annoying teachers, drama in high school. Oh my God, thank God that is the one thing that I absolutely do not miss. But the biggest issue overall, let me tell you, is waking up early in the morning and having to get ready to walk into hell and impress everybody that you probably don't care that much about. So for today's video, I thought it'd be so much fun to gather some really cheap and affordable drugstore products because another thing with school is that it is very expensive for literally no reason at all. And we're gonna be doing a little back to school chit chat, get ready with me. This is gonna be super easy for everybody that was like me and woke up literally five minutes before you had to leave for school. I'm gonna be answering some back to school advice questions from me who sister slid through school and managed to make it out to you guys, of course, to hopefully help you get through the day. This should be really fun and quick as well. Well, so without further ado, let's get started. Before you actually put any makeup on in the morning, if you were like me, you usually get dressed first. So if you need some new cute back to school clothes, don't forget to check out sisters-apparel.com for all your cute sisters merch. I wanna see all of you guys rocking sister hoodies in class. All right guys, so jumping right into this little quick morning routine. As much as I love a good full coverage cakey foundation, we definitely do not have time for that in the morning. My base routine is definitely one of the longest parts of my makeup because I like to make it really, really perfect. So for today's video, we're gonna have to throw that out the window and really rely on skincare, which thank God I do in my nighttime routine. But I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline Dream BB Cream, and I'm just gonna put this all over my skin. It's definitely not full coverage, but we do have, of course, concealer to fix any blemishes. It's just gonna do a really good job of evening everything out, so it just looks a little bit more nice. I guess. And I'm just gonna use my hands to rub this in. So when I tweeted asking you guys to send me in questions for back to school season, the one question that I got literally the absolute most, like so many times, was how do I deal with the first day of school? And I know that the first day is a major source of anxiety for so many people out there. It was definitely for me when I was growing up. I feel like I do have one really good piece of advice that I've learned kind of throughout the years to help you guys through it. And that is literally not to worry about it because every single person there is feeling the exact same way. I guarantee you every single person that is walking into that building for the first time that school year is thinking the exact same things as you being, what assignments am I gonna have? How hard are my classes gonna be? Who's gonna be in my classes? What teachers am I gonna have? And the teachers, I guarantee you're thinking the exact same thing too. What students am I gonna have in my class? Am I gonna like the students? Am I gonna remember all of their names? I know that it's a really, really nerve wracking day and I don't blame you guys. I was dealing with the same thing a few years ago, but from what I learned, I just want you guys to promise me that you'll at least try to just go into it with an open mind and open heart. It is literally just one day and you're gonna look back on that day the next day and realize, how ridiculous you were probably feeling about it and it's all gonna be okay. So now my BB cream is all on and my skin is looking much more even. I'm actually loving how this like light coverage moment kind of looks, but because it is light coverage, we definitely have a few blemishes showing through. My under eye bags are really out to play for a real one, especially when you're waking up at six in the morning for school. I'm gonna grab a concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And instead of doing my normal like full coverage patterns that I do on my face, I'm just gonna place the concealer in the areas that really need just a little bit of extra coverage help. And then I'm just gonna lightly blend that in. This next question is, how do I deal with all my classes and get through all the workload? Okay, let's be real. This is definitely a question that everybody's trying to figure out no matter what grade they're in, whether it be a freshman in middle school or a senior in college. And the one piece of advice that I really picked up over time would be really analyze your classes. Everybody's gonna have classes that you really, really like or really, really hate no matter what. For me personally, I really liked science and math. They were my all time favorites. I'll talk about that a little bit later on, but I hated history. I literally could not go a single day without falling asleep at some point. I don't know why. It's just not something that interests me, but no matter what, at the end of the day, all the classes are equally important and all those grades are going on your report card and affecting your final GPA. So you have to all take them equally as seriously. So at night when I would sit down to do my homework, I would always bust out the history textbooks first because I knew that I would of course get tired throughout the homework process and history would take the most amount of effort, brain power and willpower to do. So by getting it done first, I would make sure that it was done the most efficiently. And then I got to really blow through my math and science homework because I actually kind of enjoyed doing it. And I was able to really get it done and get it done well without putting as much brain power behind it. When you have a class 
class or teacher or subject that you really, really enjoy. It is super easy to fall into the trap of putting all your love and all of your effort into that one subject, but it is so important to remember that all of your grades for all of your classes are all averaged together at the end of the semester. And if you do really, really bad in one subject, that's going to tank your grade from the subject that you really love. It is super important to analyze the situation for your own personal well being and your GPA. Okay, so I'm actually loving how my skin is looking so far. I feel so, so, so beautiful. And of course, I was talking through that, but this is literally just a BB cream and a quick concealer. I'm next just gonna grab the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm just gonna lightly set some of those liquid products in place. Just to make sure that my face doesn't melt off during the day, especially if I'm taking a nap in a class. <laughs> when I'm setting this in place for once, I'm not actually gonna go full coverage. And I'm gonna really focus this powder in on the areas that are gonna creep being underneath my eyes and the center of the forehead because in this routine, I actually don't have a highlighter. Since I tried to keep it on budget, but we can still achieve that dewy look by keeping kind of the highlighted areas a little bit dewy with the BB cream. That sentence took a lot to get up, but we got there. Now that my face is nice and set in place, it is looking very, very even, but it's also looking a little bit flat. So I picked up this cute little duo from e.l.f. It has a bronzer. Hello, get out of there. It has a bronzer and a blush duo. I think this was $5, which is perfect for a suit on a budget. And I'm just gonna use this to chisel out my face and bring back a little bit of the dimension. Another one of the questions that I got asked a lot in this little Q&A was, what is your favorite subject in school and why? And I've talked about this in a few different videos before, and every time I do, I get a little bit of backlash, but my favorite subject in school was math. And I'm gonna tell you why you also need to love math as much as you hate it. Listen, hear me out here. I know that math is one of the most hated subjects because it is one of the hardest subjects when it comes to the whole school discussion. And when I was younger, I really didn't like it that much either. I thought it was so hard. I didn't really care about it. I didn't think it was that important, but I'm gonna spill the truth to you on why math is probably the most important subject in school and you should actually really care about it. And that is because most subjects in school are all about memorization. Take for example, history class. Yes, of course, it is very, very important to know what's going on in our country and to be politically active and to be passionate about social issues. But that does not really happen until history class becomes more of government class. And that shift happens at the very, very end of high school. If you really strip everything away, math is simply just problem solving. And problem solving is one, really, really fun. And two, such an incredibly useful skill in the real world after school. Later on in the real world, you're probably not gonna have to pull up what fruits and vegetables were taken from which countries during the triangular trade. But problem solving, especially when it involves numbers is such a useful skill no matter what industry you take on, even in your personal life too. Whether it be tipping your waiter or waitress at a restaurant after your meal or figuring out your performance at a job this week or figuring out how much mileage you have left in your car so you don't break down in the middle of the highway driving to work. I know having to memorize the Pythagorean theorem and a squared plus b squared equals c squared seems like it is literally the most unimportant thing in the world. And trust me, you will never have to use that one again. You have my word on that. But everything else when it comes to logic and problem solving and math is literally so important and our skills that I use every single day and I truly like thank myself that I actually cared about math and put a lot of work behind it because I still to this day have to pull out different formulas and apply them to the real world and it comes in really really handy to a lot of issues that you never learn about in school. Now that my face is looking much more chiseled out and lively at six in the morning I'm gonna move on to the next step which is going to be my brows and for this I picked up the wet and wild brow pencil you guys know that I don't exactly love this one because of the shape of the tip but it's only three dollars which is super affordable for a student on a budget and it allows you to get them done super quickly. While I'm going through my eyebrows quickly I want to talk through one of the most asked questions that I got and probably one of the ones that hits home most with me and that is how do you deal with high school drama and fake people and let me tell you <laughs> I dealt with my fair share of really horrible people all throughout high school and that was because I am somebody and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there can relate that tried to be friends with everybody and tried my absolute hardest to be Mr. Popular. Let's be real, of course we all want to fit in. We all want to be popular. We all want to be that one person that has a million friends that always goes to the parties that everybody looks up to that everybody just talks about all the time. And let me tell you as somebody who tried so hard to be that person and now happened to end up being that person because of this whole social media thing, it is such a waste of your time. It is literally not even funny. Oh my god, I wish I could go back and literally punch myself in the face and say, sister, get it together. Because high school, at the end of the day, is only a few years of your life and will not matter. My absolute best advice that I can give you guys would be that a small group of friends, whether it be two to like five people that you know you can trust, you know you can rely on, that you know have your back and will forever be there for you is a trillion times better than 50 friends that you probably aren't that close with just to seem popular. It is so not worth it. And I promise you, no matter how popular you are, when you leave high school, you will only keep in communication with a few people. So might as well make it that core group of tiny friends that are going to stick with you for life. Although it is a little bit hard for me, I am definitely 
only always willing to put my ego aside, especially when it means helping you guys. And I am very willing to admit the fact that this is one that I had to learn the hard way. I am so grateful that I realized how much of a waste of time it was because to this day, I still follow a lot of kids from my high school and it is very entertaining to watch all the kids that used to bully me or shade me on social media or not invite me to parties, literally get drunk every single night and fail all their classes and still be living at home with their parents. Well, I'm here working really, really hard, living alone and being successful at a young age. And I am so grateful that I have that small group of friends because every chance that I get, I still FaceTime them all the time. We still catch up. They still ask me about my life. They are so supportive. And I am so grateful that it's that way and not the other way around because I know that a lot of those kids can't say the same thing. Okay, brows, I feel like I low-key kind of snapped. Last time I used this pencil, I literally hated how they looked, but this time, kind of good, kind of fresh, kind of like it. Speaking of good and fresh, and this brow pencil, Great segue, James. I wanna use this super quickly just to put on some fake freckles just because it's cute and fun and fresh and really adds to the youthful look. This is obviously optional, but it's just something that I like to add on to my kind of like more natural makeup looks just because it adds a little bit more of like a youthful element. On the topic of kids from my hometown and dealing with all of that, one question that I got asked a lot and it sucks that this is even still such a hugely asked question is how do I deal with bullying? And this is a very, very valid question because kids can be so incredibly horrible. From analyzing a lot of different situations when it comes to bullying, whether it be my own situation or my friends that they were in, the best little inside scoop I guess I can give you on bullying is that almost every single time without a doubt, the person doing the bullying is bullying somebody else out of their own insecurities and out of their own hatred that they don't know how to deal with. And of course that doesn't make it okay. And the best way to deal with that is to literally do nothing at all. Because typically someone who is doing that to other people needs to continue getting that anger out. And if you're not giving them the satisfaction of letting them know that it's bothering you, then they're gonna get bored eventually and move on to somebody else or something else. Sometimes, of course, it's kind of impossible to avoid a confrontation. And when it's that type of scenario, the best advice that I can give is to say something. Whether it's to the actual bully where you're defending yourself, and if you do, you have to be polite because if you're rude, you're stooping down to their level and that makes you no better. If you're immature, it's just gonna start a bigger fight or to like a guidance counselor or somebody like that that can help the situation. I know that speaking to a guidance counselor or like a school principal can be a very, very scary thing. Trust me, we've all been in that position before, but at the end of the day, whether you believe it or not, I promise you they'll do anything that they possibly can to help you through it. I know this from personal experience. Like I said, I was bullied a lot, but befriending and having trusting relationships with the people that can actually make a difference in your high school experience is truly one of the best ideas ever. And I can genuinely say heart to heart sitting here right now, I probably would not have made it through high school and been able to graduate early without them. And I would not be as mentally strong as I am today without all those people helping me through it. Moving on to the next step, I can promise you that you will never see this sister right here walking into first period with a full lash on. I do not have time for that. It is not worth it, but I do want to add just a little bit of something. I'm just going to grab a curler and curl them up. And while I'm doing that, say a silent little prayer that all of your sister's grades are up this whole semester too. Then I'm just gonna go in and do a light coat of the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. This is actually in the shade brown and not black. I definitely prefer a little bit of a lighter mascara when it comes to these natural looks, just because I feel like black can sometimes be a little bit too harsh. And then fun little DIY hack, if you do have a brow mascara like me, whatever's left on this brush, I'm actually just gonna take and kind of run through my brows and brush them upwards. This is obviously optional, but it is a great alternative to using a brow gel, which can be very, very expensive for my sister students on a budget. I like brushing the hairs upwards because it really gives that kind of like light and fluffy and sort of natural look that really says I care but like not that much which should be your attitude all throughout school. <laughs> Alright sisters, I'm feeling so beautiful and almost ready for class, but I have one last thing that I want to do And I'm gonna grab a makeup wipe that I was using kind of throughout this little makeup process And I'm just gonna use this and wipe off any BB cream. Why am I talking? Just use this to wipe off any BB cream or foundation that I accidentally got on my lips during the makeup process So for the lips, we have two different options here Of course, you can apply a long-lasting liquid lipstick to get you through the entire day My personal favorite recommendations are the Ofra liquid lipsticks use code James for 30% off or the ABH liquid lipsticks They can literally last through anything but for me personally personally, and I don't know about you guys, I was a very, very talkative and active student in school. So for me, I would definitely like to opt towards an easier option, one that you don't have to worry about the crusties in the corner of your mouth, which is literally one of my biggest pet peeves, which is literally just cleaning your lips off with a makeup wipe and applying a chopstick. This one is from Burt's Bees and it is pomegranate flavored, so I'm just gonna apply it on. By wearing a chapstick instead, if you're careful with the kind of wipe off and application process, it still kind of low-key looks like you're wearing a lipstick. And this way, you don't have to deal with the annoying crusties, you don't have to reapply, and they'll be comfortable and hydrated all day long. 
All right, sisters, and with all that being said, I think we are done with this little morning time get ready for school glam. I just finished this look in a whopping 34 minutes. That is literally so quick for me, and that's with answering a ton of questions too. I feel like if I was actually to sit down, I could get this done in probably 20 minutes, which is such an easy and beautiful routine for morning time when you're stressed to get out the door to make it to your first period class on time. Of course, I really hope that you guys like the finished look, but more importantly, I really hope that this advice was helpful to you guys, and I hope that I answered some of your questions. I know back to school season can be so stressful and so scary, but just please try to remember that everyone is in the same exact boat. You will get through it, I promise. Everything will be okay. When you graduate a few years from now and you look back on this, it's gonna seem so unimportant. Life is beautiful, but it also has a lot of struggles and the ones of high school are so stupid and are so childish. Please take it from me as someone who was there recently. You can get through this and you can do it, I promise. All right, sisters, that is all I have for this video today. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your support. It really means a lot to me. And leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite subject in school is. <laughs> please say math. If you have not already, don't forget to click that big red subscribe button as well and come join the sisterhood. We are 7 million sisters strong and I'd love to have you join the family and click the bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles and my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles with an extra ass after Charles. This video's sister shout out goes to sister Hannah. Thank you so much baby for always following and supporting. You know I love you literally so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. All right, sisters, thank you so much for watching. Good luck this back to school season. You guys got this and I will see you in the next one. Bye.